What is up fellas? In this video I'm going to show you how you can make the heads up display of your airplane model look awesome. Stay tuned. First I'm going to make an older style heads up display like MiG-21s or similar era aircraft. For the projector first I apply a layer of Molotov liquid chrome then I add a layer of clear orange but check your references for the correct color. For the screen I am going to use acetate sheet as it has much better thickness than the kit part. For ease of handling I cut more manageable piece of the sheet. This material attracts a lot of dust due to static and it is a good idea to clean it up a bit. Next I trim the piece to the desired shape leaving the bottom side untrimmed for the easier handling. Now to make this part look more like thick piece of glass rather than a thin piece of plastic I paint the edges with clear green paint or clear blue paint. Finally I can attach the screen. Here I use CA glue but PVA glue is also a good option. Moving on to more modern airplanes. If you need to use the kit part like I did on my grip and build, it is advisable to thin the part down and then polish it. Alternatively you can use acetate. For my, F for my F22 I used an ARS detail set which included a acetate display. Ok, now to the cool stuff. After applying PVA glue I placed the screen on a piece of iridescent film. Link to that you can find in the description. Carefully squeeze as much glue as possible but be careful not to damage the film. Sharp and tight scissors make the trimming much easier. As an alternative to the PVA glue you can use gloss varnish. When you have larger acetate and iridescent film glued together it's much easier to cut them to shape than to trim only iridescent film. While the glue sets I will create the projector. Using the same acetate and iridescent film combo I will add some self adhesive aluminum tape. If you want more saturated color you can add more of the iridescent film. After some careful trimming I use PVA glue to put the part in its place. When that is done I can attach the screen. Due to the poorly designed photo edge part I cannot show you how I installed the heads up display on the Raptors dashboard. But I can tell you this, it was a royal pain in the rear end. As an alternative to the clear green paint you can use green art pen. So that's all for today. I hope you find this video useful. I am looking forward for your comments and thoughts on this technique. Thanks for watching and until next time happy modeling.